morning everybody it's a different video for a beauty mama tuesday by the way i am beauty mama it is way too early <laughs> um my name is kim if you haven't been here before i do just random things uh, i try to go online and find challenges i try to show you beginners uh ways to do things and Today's just gonna be another challenge. It's not gonna be, um, my last video I said it was gonna be paint by numbers and it was gonna have my father-in-law and my husband help me pick out my numbers. Um, that's gonna be for another video because I have so much to do. I actually have to vlog um, another video for my other channels called The Penny Life and I'll have it down here, um, the name of it and I'll probably link a video. Uh, We've been doing just random things on there like uh we're re restoring um we're not really restoring we're renovating uh you shan't shenanthem maybe it is still early uh we are <laughs> re renovation of a shasta camper in 1979 and don't ask me how i got the year my mom was the one who just guessed it i googled and it was correct which is really weird my mom knows her campers shout out to my mama um so I am actually having something different on there and uh, hopefully it gets hits, hopefully. Um, so before I begin, and <laughs> please like the video because I, I know me, I'll forget. So please like this video if you liked it. Um, subscribe to my channel if you have not already and push that notification bell to stay tuned for my next coming videos. I don't post a lot constantly, which is, uh, it works around my schedule. So. Uh, just bear with me and everything, but today in the title, this is the challenge of going old school. I don't know how I'm going to present the title, honestly, I really don't, but I've seen so many people go old school on their makeup, dating back when they first started putting makeup on, and I have finally found a picture on my mom's profile of me when I was, cause it was the only time when I actually started getting into makeup was me when I was a freshman back in 2004. Oh God, I feel so old. <laughs> 2004, holy crap. And literally I was so not a connoisseur when it comes to makeup or anything. I was an amateur, I was just beginning. So literally, it consisted of this, maybe a concealer or two, because I stole my sister sometimes. Um, from what I saw in the picture, it looked like I had a concealer. And it looked like I had highlights. Like highlight. Um, eyeliner and a single shadow. That was it. So I'm gonna, I try to recreate some of the materials that I have, but obviously as time grows, um, you start producing, you start liking different products, not producing. What the hell is wrong with me? I never had a primer, so I'm not doing primer, which is gonna kill me because my makeup's gonna fall right off. We just had a storm, shower storm yesterday because we had a tropical storm coming in um, from the coast of Texas, the Gulf Coast, Hana. And so my makeup's probably gonna slide right off because it's humid. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in. I used to just use my fingers, but I, I can't do that anymore, honestly. I don't like it. So I'm gonna go in with my flower brush, my foundation brush, a 160F face brush. Do a couple pumps. I haven't. I have um, Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. It's kind of like the other Maybelline I got for um, my sample box, but this one is a uh, Nude 40. And this one, because that one's matte, this one is Radiant, Dream Radiant. So this one's uh, glossy. Just so you guys know, the Radiant is glossy, the Satin is matte. And I never. Uh, I don't I can't honestly remember what it was that I used oh my god and I can't contour or anything like that because I never used to do that to go with the 
this one. Why did I go with this one? Oh wait, I think I remember. I think it's because of the fact since I used to live in Oregon, I don't anymore, obviously. But um, Oregon was my home that I was born in, and uh, we didn't get a lot of sun growing up. Like we played outside, but there was no sun. It was always cloudy, overcast. It was hard to get tan. It was either you fake and bake, or um, you put that fake tanning oil on, lotion, whatever it's called, or you just do this and um, just make your skin look uh, tan. Oh God, I am so breaking out. I don't know why. My hormones have been all over the place. Any other women experiencing that? For no reason? You're just like, you're ready to get in a boxing match. Just, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna put my hair up. Ow. My picture is, shows that I had a, a hair back. If I remember correctly, I think I had it in a bun. Cause I, I do my buns up now, like way up. But my bun, I think it was like right here in the back where you couldn't see it. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. Cause I looked like a man when I was younger. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Did I? I'm gonna insert the photo so you guys can see. And then I'm gonna do a comparison side by side um, at the end. And see if I created it correctly. Because I don't remember. Like I said, I was I'm just going off what the picture showed and quality of cameras back then were pixeled. So this was like the only quality cam um, picture I could literally find. And I'm not saying it was horrible, it's just freshmen, you're not gonna see a lot of freshmen with iPhones or uh, new, just new iPhones are coming out. We have like the flip phones. <laughs> Tell me in the comments if you remember the flip phones or the, um, oh, the, ah, oh, gosh, what was it called exactly? Um, I think it was like the sidekick where, um, it's just like this bulky phone, like this big, and then you like push the middle and the screen flips up. Tell me, please tell me I'm not the only one where I have flipped it so many times, just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because you get so bored in school that one day I literally flipped it one too many times or way too hard, and the screen just flipped right off. <laughs> I was, oh my God. Oh, that was so bad. All right. Um. And I can't go in with the concealer because it's way too bright. All right, I guess I'm done with that. Mm. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna insert the photo somewhere in this video, probably in the beginning or just right after I said it. All right. Oh, this one's gonna kill me. Okay, I'm just gonna go in and from the photo, I can't tell exactly what color. I th it looks like a dark shade, but way had my head angled and how close I was to the camera and you know I took a shower last night my hair is all greasy I'm just gonna pop it up more um, so I think I'm just gonna try to go in with try to make it look darker colors I'm gonna go in with the LA colors I love makeup and I never use brushes <laughs> I don't know why, don't ask. I'm gonna go on with this dark color, blue. And it says it's a shimmer, but it's not. So, it's... Oh my God. Oh! <laughs> Why 
about how I tortured myself. I hope you guys like this video, seriously. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. My OCD is kicking in. Holy crap. Lines. My OCD is kicking in badly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. So from the picture, it looks like I did my water lines. Because that's what I always did anyways, uh, top and bottom. My, my eyes, don't ask, I don't know why. But since I didn't have primer on, I could just wipe this off. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go in with that. I never used a uh, liquid eyeliner, so. No ditches. All right. And if you guys get squeamish of this part, because some people do, just uh, fast forward it a bit. <sighs> I wish I could add things. I look, I'm so tired. <laughs> bun it uh, all right um it shows that I had some pink on my cheeks I don't know I can't remember if it was blush or if I just like slapped my cheeks hmm I don't know so I'm gonna go in with Oprah Madison Miller uh, sweet bluff sweet stuff blush collection Is this really my go-to look? What the hell? I look like a... I'm just gonna tap some of it off. I don't... My goodness. Huh. going with my mascara. Like I said, my mascara is different. to have I honestly don't have anymore um was those eye line clipper thingies to like volumize your eyelashes um so it looks like I had some tint of pink on there in the lips and some gloss I don't remember honestly obviously I don't remember what I used so I'm gonna go in with this uh covergirl um lip perfection jumbo gloss but it's not really gloss the shade. I don't think they make this anymore, but that gives me two numbers. 216 or 3226. I really don't remember. So I think I'm just going to dab it on. <laughs> I can't believe this is my go-to. I think I stuck too much on. Yeah, I think so. There we go. Because it looked like it was just a tint. A tint. Then I'm going to go in with Jewel Smith Beauty uh, Gloss. And it's in the Moon Beam Dream shade. It's just like really pretty gloss. There we go. 
And honestly, that is my doom. That was my thing. <laughs> oh man. So, you guys need to try your challenge. Try this challenge at home. Let me know. I'm sorry, I can't keep my hair up. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I look like I'm trying to figure... What was I thinking back in freshman year? Pink lips, blue eyes, pink blush? Was I trying to become a recreate Britney Spears or something? Because I know Britney Spears was a hit back then. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna try to leave this on all day and try to do my other videos. <laughs> oh. So, this is it. I gotta get off so I can edit this and upload it for y'all. And then, I th obviously in the end, you're gonna see a side-by-side -side comparison. And then you tell me, did I get it spot on or did I go overboard with the eyeshadow? Because I seriously could not tell. Oh my god. You oh good. <laughs> okay, I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm gonna cry because this is so ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, bye. <laughs>